Hey guys, we're going to try something new, so make sure to tell us if you like it. If you don't like it, also make sure to tell us that so we won't waste our time doing it. But <laughs> what we're going to start doing is we're going to start bringing you all campground reviews of the campgrounds that we stay at. So the first one is going to be Cathedral Caverns in Woodville, Alabama. I'm sorry, Cathedral Caverns Campground at Cathedral Caverns State Park in Woodville, Alabama. With these reviews, we're going to rate the campground in five different categories that are mostly objective. Um, and then we're also gonna include a sixth category where we sort of give our opinion on what our favorite part of the campground is. So if you can see right here in front of me, I've actually created like a Word document where we can sort of do this. Um, be organized. Formally yes. be organized, which is totally <laughs> not me, <laughs> um, but we're going to go with it. All right, so category one is cleanliness. In the section of the campground that we stayed in, there was actually no bathroom. Uh, they were all full hookup sites, so it's sort of like, hey, bring your own bathroom. <laughs> um, but they did have a, another section of the campground that did have a bathroom, and Reagan went into it. Yeah, I checked it out. It's, yeah. Okay, it's not for me. They had a couple of bathroom stalls, and instead of a door, it has a curtain. And the same thing for the shower. Like, there was a nice little shower area, like, to undress, and then there was the shower part. And it all had curtains, no doors. So, I'm just saying it's not for me. It was pretty clean. Just letting you know not what the, it has. Okay. Not the highest end of yeah. bathrooms, but there is a bathroom. Yeah. So, it was clean, but not brand new. Okay, so the building's a little dated, but again. Site cleanliness, though? It was very clean. Two thumbs up. Yeah. We stayed in site number one, which was actually a handicap accessible site. Don't worry, it was the last site available. I didn't just go in there and grab that from someone who would have needed it more than us. Yes. Um, but it was the last site available. Um, so we ended up getting it. And our site was, I mean, all of the sites were extremely clean. Um, but ours was actually paved. It had concrete and whatnot. And that was... That was pretty cool too. It, it literally looked like it was brand new. Yeah. That whole section we stayed in looked brand new though. Yeah. So, yeah. Just... It might have been a new section, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, laundry. Again, Reagan went up and checked out the laundry facilities. Mm -hmm. Were they clean? It was very clean. It actually looked like that part of the building had been recently remodeled. So, the laundry room and the bathhouse were all in the same building. So, the building condition, uh, there weren't a lot of buildings, but. The buildings that were there were in good condition. The landscaping, uh, I would say they did a really good job keeping it upkept. There was nothing overgrown. Um, there was even a large field like by the newer site yeah. and it was mowed like very yeah. well kept. The kids played in it. And, yeah. yeah, they, they did it. They did a really good job with yeah. landscaping. All right, on to section two, amenities. So like we mentioned before, there were laundry facilities at this campground and Reagan inspected them so they were clean what else very clean I think it was two dollars to wash three dollars to dry might be vice versa but I mean it was reasonably priced so like five bucks a load yeah. oh there was yeah. also a microwave in the laundry room so that the tent sites if you didn't have a microwave or anything you could hot use that. pockets hot pockets <laughs> <laughs> all right for recreation obviously we're staying at Cathedral Cavern State Park so you got the cave <laughs> There were also hiking trails, uh, gem mining. Gem mining, yeah. I think that part was closed while we were there. Yeah, we didn't do that. We didn't do that, um, but it's an option, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And it was it was a really cool little state park. The caves were actually really, really cool. I was super impressed with the cave. Okay, we've been to, this is our third cave in the past 12 months, and we went to Mammoth Cave, and I was super impressed with this little cave in the middle of nowhere in Alabama. Okay, like. Yeah, seriously, like, you hear <laughs> so a lot about Mammoth. Oh, yeah. Like, Mammoth Cave was really yeah. cool. I mean, it's. It was huge. No, absolutely yeah. massive. And we only did one of the tours, so mm -hmm. we, we can't give a perspective on. The entire cave. The entire cave. Obviously, but. But. From compared, what we saw yeah. in Mammoth Cave compared to what we saw at Cathedral Caverns, we might have saw some cooler stuff at Cathedral Caverns, to be honest. Um, I mean, the cave tour was an hour and a half, yeah, something like that. It was so a really it, decent tour. It was a, a, a good yeah. amount of time. The price was right. It was like 20 bucks a person if you're not staying at the campground. 
But if you're staying at the campground, it's 15 bucks a person. Yeah. Or for an adult. And kids are even cheaper. Kids are four like 8 and, bucks yeah, or something. Four and under is free. And then I think 6 bucks. Was it? 8 bucks. 8, eight bucks, bucks for, for... Yeah, middle. Up to 13, I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, you, you get a pretty decent discount if you're staying mm -hmm. at the state park. Um, playground. Mm. There wasn't really a playground. Mm -hmm. It was... I mean what they had was actually really cool it was like this really big wavy rock wall looking thing but that was about it as far as playgrounds go yeah. um so mm, playground there, there's something there but it's not for yeah. everyone the open field also is right there by the campsite so yeah. i mean you can play in that yeah, go play soccer baseball something. run around maybe even whatever. fly a kite i don't know like it's a huge open field yeah. but there's no fence which is a big thing for me i like fences around the playgrounds yeah so. Was there a pool? No. No. Was there a clubhouse? No. Also no. But. You didn't need it really. You didn't really need it. Exactly. Yeah. Category number three. Convenience. There wasn't cell phone service. Okay. Well, there was. <laughs> very, very little. Spotty yeah. at best cell phone service. Thankfully, we had Starlink up and running and we had good internet. Um, but. Yeah, there, that was it. That was it. Yeah. yeah, there was there was no cell phone service with Verizon. I guess I should say. Um, I'm not sure about T-Mobile or AT&T, but Verizon was lacking. You could make a phone call. Standing on top of the RV with like <laughs> your foot in the air or something. I don't know. Yeah, you you can make a phone call, but data, as far as data yeah. is concerned, no. It wasn't great. Location to nearby attractions. The cave, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you're at the state park. My favorite nearby attraction is Huntsville. I love that city. Um, I work there a lot. And <laughs> now it's your a good best time. friend lives there. Yes, oh. yes. My bestie now lives there, which is awesome. We got to hang out with them and go on the cave tour with them. So, Dylan, Brittany, you guys are awesome. We love you. And your kids. We love your kids too. Yeah, we love your kids too. Huntsville's only like 30 minutes away, 30, 40 minutes away, mm -hmm. depending on where you're trying to go in Huntsville. And if you're ever in the area, Go check it out. There's a lot of good beer and good food. Hookups at the RV sites. Full hookups. So if that's what you're looking for, they've got them. Uh, there's two little loops. The loop that we were staying at was a full hookup loop. They also have a non-full hookup loop, which I believe was just electric and water. The site sizes were pretty generous. Um, it was not a parking lot by any means. But it also wasn't like a Corps of Engineer type. Yeah, there weren't like a ton of trees around. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty open, um, but the sites weren't itty bitty. They weren't big, but they weren't itty bitty. Yeah, so definitely the newer sites where we stayed was mostly grass and then gravel parking area, except for ours was paved. But the older area that was partial hookups, a little more shaded. A little more shaded, and that was a lot of sand and grit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a little uh, a little less upkept, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. This is hair. I know it's like flying. I, know, I can't help it. She's getting groomed soon. But. Yes. Category four: friendliness. So, what do we mean by friendliness? Is it bike friendly? Is it kid friendly? Is it pet friendly? Is it big rig friendly? Is it safe? Yeah, that kind of thing. So, bike friendly? Um, yes. There's ish. not biking trails, but definitely plenty of space to ride. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to ride around the, the campground loop, yeah, there, there's places to ride your bike. You can ride your bike up the big hill to the caverns, um, which unfortunately I don't think we got any video of that. Yeah. But it's very steep. So if you don't have an e-bike, you're going to be working out. You're going to be huffing. I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. But yeah, that... It's not for us. <laughs> Kid friendly? I would say so, yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, the big open field was nice. Our kids yeah. loved it. They just ran wild. It's not a jelly stone. It's not going to have arts and craft day. It's not going to have all sorts of that kind of thing. And the playground was eh, kind of lacking. But it was not next to a super busy highway or anything like that. So... We felt very comfortable letting the kids run around and play and have fun. Pet friendly, yes. I mean, there wasn't like a 
dog part that was fenced in or anything like that. But yeah. I mean, yeah, it it it, it worked. It yeah. worked exactly. Big rig friendly. Very yes. very very yes yes because it was so easy to get in and out of the sites. Yeah, like like I said before, we're in site number one, which is literally the first site as you pull in. It's probably why they named it number one. <laughs> Um, it, it was a very generous site, but all the other sites that we saw were also very generous. Mm -hmm. Not like a parking lot. There's not a lot of pull throughs. Yeah. I think there were a few, maybe three or four, mm -hmm. um, throughout the park. But I mean, any, you could pull a 45 footer through there. No problem. Yeah. Safety. I felt very safe. It was, you know, it, the state park is kind of like out. So you're not in the middle of a big city, first of all. So that part is safe. Second of all, there was a gate, which I like. Yes, there there was a gate. Um, I mean, it wasn't like a chain link fence gate or anything, but it did keep vehicles out, mm -hmm. which is cool. Um, definitely felt safe there. I mean, I, I I feel like you should always lock your stuff up, but I didn't feel like we needed to. Yeah. So staff. I didn't really deal a whole lot with staff other than buying our tickets for the cave and checking in. Yeah. Um, Reagan. Uh, I mean, I thought the camp host was very nice, very yeah. friendly, he's very attentive. He was right there when we were pulling in. Yes. Very yeah, helpful. Very, like, willing to help guide us mm -hmm. and all that. But we were good, honestly. It was, like I said, very easy generous sites. Yeah. yeah, easy to get in, easy to navigate. So we didn't really need the help, but, but he was there oh, to help. Um, there's a lock to get into the laundry room. So I had to like go yeah. get the code to go check it out. The lady was like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. Sorry we didn't give that to you. But, you know, just very friendly, over the top, nice. So. She probably did give it to me, but he I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's probably how it went. It's normally how it goes. <laughs> All right, and then category five, price. This is of course the one that everyone wants to know about. And for some reason, I don't know why cost is like so hard to find on videos and usually even online. So we're going to make sure we get costs for you when we stay at places. Yes. To the best of our ability, mm -hmm. unless there's some sort of like crazy, like, I don't know, non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> well, why would they have that? <laughs> crazy campsites that we stay at. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, 33 bucks a night, uh, for 50 amp, uh, full hookups. So that's super reasonable. Um, you don't see a lot of full hookup sites for that, that price. price. I mean, that's cheap. Mm -hmm. um, and for what you get, it was definitely worth it. Yes. And don't forget that comes with a discount for the cave tour as well. Oh yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you can't beat it. The uh, basic campsites that are just electric and water were 27 bucks a night. Primitive sites were 18 bucks a night. And then they had some backcountry sites and cabins and I didn't get pricing on that. So. If you're interested in that, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> so we didn't really see any extra costs. Like you didn't have to pay f extra for a golf cart or no, any kind of rentals or you didn't have to pay extra for your power or anything like that. So we didn't really see any hidden extra costs. Discounts. My favorite. 15% off for seniors, 62 and up. There are also discounts for active duty military and 100% disabled guests. So opinions, what, what, what are your thoughts on the pricing? Did you think that the value was there? I think it was a great price. And again, it was a great location for us because we love Huntsville and this doing the caverns. I mean, like, that was really fun surprise. Like we weren't planning on that. But it worked out really great. We were glad we got to do that. Yeah. Well, we were planning on doing the caverns. We just weren't expecting yeah. it to be as yeah. really cool as it was. Yeah. Um, I'd say the value was absolutely there. Mm -hmm. 33 bucks a night. You can't beat that. <laughs> That's for full hookups. Doesn't exist. All right. And now let's talk about category six, which is going to be, I guess, maybe my favorite part. It's our opinions. Da, 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 da. So what do you think? What, what is your favorite part? about this campground. I really loved the caverns. That was probably my favorite part. Yeah. And it being discounted, you know, I mean, that helps. My favorite part was its location. Um, I mean, obviously going to see the cave was really cool, um, but I like being close to Huntsville. Um, you're, you're not super far away, but you're also not like in the city. So that's pretty cool. You've got the Space and Rocket Center. You've got the 
several good museums. food. You've got yeah. museums. They've got a really cool downtown park. Um, so a really cool city. Again, like and I said trash before. Trash pandas. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the hat. <laughs> of course, the minor league team, the Trash Pandas. So uh, I actually went and saw a game. I was working there the week after we stayed there. So Reagan and the kids were actually in Georgia, and I was working in, in Huntsville at the time. And I went to a Trash Pandas game, which was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching our video. If this is something that you liked, please let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Shoot us a comment. If it's something you didn't like, please feel free to let us know as well. Um, so we won't waste our time doing more of these if you don't like them. Uh, but we hope it helped. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend going to this campground and this state park. Um, we're not going to recommend campgrounds to you all that that we wouldn't stay at again. Uh, but this one, 100%, we absolutely would stay at again if we're in the area. Most definitely. Yep. So, see you guys next time. <laughs>